ride um, and now we're ready to cook this piece of meat it's it's been aging for almost 50 days I bought it at the basic market in Portland Oregon uh, the guy told me it's almost 50 days it's been it's been aging in their refrigerator um, it's almost two pounds which is bigger than I wanted but that's what they cut for me um, I've rubbed it down with salt and pepper and I brought it up to room temperature once um, once it's done, I'm going to cook some asparagus and some mushrooms. And, and then we're going to pair it with a beautiful bottle, very nice bottle of Roscoe Red. I can't forget old Roscoe on this meal. So uh, this is to you, my buddy Roscoe. Mm, what a delicious bottle of wine. Bob, you're a good dog as well. I got Bob the sous chef down here. All right, so I'm going to heat up the scottle. I'm going to put some of this uh, clarified butter in there with a little olive oil sear this thing so let me get the scottle hot and start cooking it all right we got the scottle lit you can see it's smoking hot there might still be a little oil left over from lunch now i have never cooked a piece of meat like this i may have mentioned that i have never purchased a piece of meat like this i am not a trained chef so if you buy a piece of meat and you ruin it doing what i'm about to do Please don't blame me. I am a plumber, not a chef. So you might not even want you might not even want to eat what I cook because you never know where these hands have been. All right, we got the scotty. You can see it's smoking hot. Let's put a little olive oil in there. Now, as you probably could guess, guess from the title, um, this piece of meat cost me sixty-eight dollars. So. If you see me over there crying or leaping off the edge because I ruined it, you'll know why. That's, yeah. If I don't show up for work Monday, look for me down there because I ruined this piece of meat. All right, here goes. Let's give it, let's give it a little bit more time. That oil is really hot. All righty. In goes this amazing piece of meat. Now because the scottle is dished and there's a hot spot in the middle, I'm going to kind of move it around in there a little bit just to uh, kind of cook it evenly. So Jerry, do you know of any other person that has cooked a 40 day, well, almost 50 day dry aged ribeye in one of your scottles? If you have, if anybody has, put a comment in the, uh, well, the comment section below. I'd like to hear about it. I'd like to hear how yours turned out. I'm gonna try to get a good sear on this. Maybe I will turn it up a little bit. Now, the piece of advice I got from the butcher is this is gonna cook a lot quicker than a regular ribeye um, because there's no moisture or, or there's less moisture in it. So let's, uh, let's not overcook it. And then we're gonna let it rest. Okay, I'm gonna just check it, check it, see how it. Oh, 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 oh. There is a nice, crispy oh, caramel on the back. And what do you think of this spot? This is the spot that I'm hosting a, uh, I don't even know what it's called hosting. I'm trying to get a meetup together here October 2nd. So if this video comes out before October 2nd, hit me up and come hang out with. Uh, me and some of my buddies here at this spot. But I've said it in quite a few of my videos. I am not the best cook, but I have the most beautiful kitchen. All right, maybe I should put that in a shirt. Right, take a look at this. 
Can you see that? Oh my goodness. The smell is, is, is amazing. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but take a two pound steak and you age it and it becomes a one pound steak. They say you have two pounds of flavor in that one pound. I saw that on a YouTube video. So if it's wrong, put it in the comments below. Tell me I'm wrong. All right. This is going to be great. All right, so both sides have been um, seared. I'm gonna put some of this clarified butter. This might be where I ruin it. I always use just regular butter. And, hang on, put it in the wrong pocket. There we go. And I'm gonna throw a little garlic in there. And I'm just gonna start basting it. Give it a little time now. Okay, let's plate this thing. I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even want to touch the vegetables with it yet. You know I'm gonna cut it with my CK knife and tool, KC Coyote Works knife. And if you haven't heard of CK Knife and Tool, and you like to cook, you want one in your kitchen, in your hunting gear, uh, in your overland, in your bug out, this guy makes a knife for all occasions. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. Look at that. That looks amazing. 40 day dry age, well, again, almost 50. You know, I'm not a rich man. But if this is what it's like to be rich, sign me up. This is amazing. Mmm. Holy sh... Beep. That... That is delicious. So, let me grab this camera here and show you guys. Look at this piece. That is just, I don't know if you can hear it. It's got a nice caramel on the outside. Still kind of rare in the middle. Maybe, maybe I could have cooked it. Maybe I could have cooked it a, a, a little bit longer, I suppose. I, I suppose. I don't know. I, I kind of like it pretty raw. Um, Guess I should eat a mushroom. I don't know. Why bother? And why bother when I got this thing in front of me? All right. Well, you guys do not want to see me sit here and eat, but I am going to enjoy a little more of my my Roscoe Red and uh, this steak. 
And there is, there will be a Bob, uh, maybe a Bob blend coming out shortly. So keep your eyes open for the Bob blend. Is she not a handsome, handsome fellow? Bob, you're a beautiful man. You're a good boy. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me while I celebrate my new camper with this amazing piece of meat. Um, I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to finish this up. Uh, thank you, everybody. See you on the next adventure. But I'm going to eat this. Mm. Mm. Man. See you next time. I need a moment. Thanks, everybody.